Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I know I haven't been around much, but um, the lovely Leo Lion LV created this tag, which is the Summer Favourites 2018 tag. And I really am loving summer products and summer fashion and everything about this heat wave and summer. So I thought it'd be fun to do this one. And it was just a way to get back in and say hi without committing to weekly videos because we're traveling a lot and stuff and the kids are around and it's just too difficult. I look rough and also, um, I've got weird lights, I've got loads of lights on because I'm in a window so one half of me is lit and one half is in shadow and I look like a goth because my mascara that I'm trying has really smudged so epic fail and I'm not really wearing much makeup but I thought better do it than not at all so you know how we roll. Um, there are 12 categories so I'm going to dive right in because I've got more than one thing for most categories because I kind of wanted to use this as a vehicle for sharing with you what I'm enjoying this summer. So the first thing is what are your favourite summer outfits? So for me mainly it's a colour palette. Blue and white seem to be the big thing this summer for me with kind of a natural tan and straw kind of accents and I've really been loving that. Um, things like this kind of light blue this is a t-shirt with a knot front this is the kind of thing you know me if you know me well i dress very safe in the winter i like my black i love my dark grays um but in summer i've been loving this is a little broad anglais dress i have found a fake tan that i find really easy so my legs have been browner and i had some treatment on some leg veins so um, the back of my knee I was really conscious of before whereas now I've been wearing like shorts and short skirts and dresses so that's been my favorite kind of outfit a little dress is so easy because it's just easy to style whereas I find tops and skirts sometimes really problematic like I'm not very good at knowing how to put it together and then obviously slogan tees but in summer I try to go with light fun things I don't really do designer ones because I just don't feel the need like I love l and I love Hush uh, you can get a really nice um, slogan tee for under £50, so I don't know why I would want to spend £200, £300. I just think that's really fashion, uh, fashion victim-y and it's just not my thing. So this one is my newest one. It's like a graffitied rainbow. I got that to wear this weekend. This is my most recent L&M one. I love... I don't really like solid red on me but I love red so I've worked out that red patterns like red and white dress that I got this summer or something like this is my way to wear red this is the Saint Amour one this is very different than her other ones it's more dressy it feels like a top rather than a tee and it's fitted and I love culottes this is the thing I've discovered this year black culottes with a top tucked in for me is like really my version of smart it's not smart smart but it's smart for me so, oh, and this is my other favourite one. And I wore this like an idiot around the south of France. Um, it's kind of old school in that it's just thin, vintage kind of material and that beautiful bright blue that I love, but it's got velvet writing. It says Saint-Tropez. So that's definitely like what I've been wearing, just lots of as light a clothing as possible because it's been so hot. Um, so I would say key pieces, dresses, culottes and skirts. Um, and although I'm quite a fat girl, I have really been enjoying taking my teas like this one, it's just a little mint one from River Island, and get getting things smaller and not so cut so big and tucking in. And that way I hold myself in and okay, you might be like, wow, if I had that tummy, I wouldn't show it. But sometimes it's in your attitude. If you start to dress more form fitting, you feel slimmer and then your behaviors around food change and stuff. So I've definitely been doing that. Um, number two, summer shoes well just sandals and stuff um these there's a funny story with these these are my newest pair of footwear um they are by K miss kg and they're very hard to find i found them on amazon they're so light they're just a espadrille knotted kind of faux suede little slide and the reason i love these i was on the plane to france and the lady sitting next to me had these on and i was like i love your sandals and she had like a long maxi dress on and she was like, oh yeah, I like slides because I don't want to have to lean over to do buckles and stuff. And she said where she got them, but two years ago. So I did a search and I found them in black and blue on Amazon and they are the Donna um, sandal or something by Miss KG if you want to search for them. I'm not very good at doing links and stuff, but there are a few colours and sizes left. I went up, these were a 41. Um, I just love this baby blue. It's just my jam this 
Yeah, love them. And then my most staple, sorry, they need a bit of a wipe. They're, they're sticky, like they've been, they've been outside and got like tree sap on them from the garden or something. But these are just some tan sandals from June. And this tan color just literally goes with anything. It's almost like my summer version of black. I very much dress much more boho style in the summer, which you'll see from some of the like jewelry and bits. I don't really go with that style in winter. I go much more classic, but in summer, I just feel like anything with tassels or broderie, you know, like I just love all that. And this just goes so well with that. And they're very comfortable. June make really nice sandals. Number three, favourite sunglasses. This was an easy one. These are the Key Australia High Keys. They are the Desi Perkins collab. Um, they are definitely, well, I could have cleaned them before the video. They're very flat, so they're very good for packing in like my wok or whatever. My favourite ones are the black fade ones. Now, they're, they are very oversized. I have a very wide face, so they're great for me. What else is great for me is that when I smile, they do not touch my cheeks. And then, um, so those are like my kind of city ones, the black ones. And then when I'm feeling a bit more brave, like when we went on holiday, I wore these gold ones. If they are too, if you've got a more petite face, they do a mini, and it's not mini, it's just slightly smaller than this. You can get these from Key Australia's own site. See, they're a bit more cops. They're like chips, you know, those motorcycle cops. <laughs> um, they're just so comfortable and light. I just can't really be doing with, I'm not one for high-end shades. I used to buy Chanel shades and that. I love Ray-Bans and I love Key Australia. And if, you know, they're 50 pounds, you can get them from Topshop. I think I got both of these from ASOS, somewhere like that. Um, number four, favorite handbag wallet. Well, my, I've got two big staple summer bags. One is my denim Deauville tote by Chanel, which um, has been all over my Instagram recently. So I didn't unpack that and bring it down. It's the navy blue classic Deauville. I love that bag and I've really worn it more this summer. I think when I first got it like 18 months, two years ago, I was a bit scared that it was fabric. What if I spilt something on it? And then what happens is after a while you just get over yourself and wear it all the time. This is my, um, sorry, it's my dogs. This is my Neverfull GM in the Azure print. I really love this in summer. I don't wear it the rest of the year. I mainly wear it in spring and summer, but I just find it holds, if I've got my kids, it holds lots of stuff. Uh, it's a good flight bag and they now come with this pouch, which you can disconnect and use in the evening in a resort as a clutch or whatever. And um, you can, it is big, but I think it's, for this particular print, I just think it's all about the GM, just style-wise, it's more slouchy and and cool, and you can just do that and make it smaller. So that is a very, very, that's my most kind of used designer bag in the summer. This and, and the Deville, but for small bags, obviously I still rotate a lot of my other bags, but I've added this for my holiday, which my husband teases me, looks like a goat herder's drinking thing, but I don't care. So I got this from Monsoon. They have a big one, which has got like handles and stuff, but I've got, as you know, I've got the Neverfull and the Deville. So I just got a little crossbody, little straw bag and it was inexpensive. It's got a nice leather strap, which is plenty long enough crossbody. Um, the other one, I haven't used it as much because it is a clutch, but I do really like it. This little straw bag, they've been really in. This has got a detachable little wristlet thing that you can take off here. Um, this is from Jules, and I love that mid blue. It goes with a lot of my clothing and stuff. Nice for evenings or a day when you don't have much to carry. And it's got that lovely red cotton stripe lining, and that was really inexpensive. So, you know, in the summer, I think it's, you you kind of change your outfit more, you want more choice, and maybe mix in some inexpensive things with your kind of key pieces. That's how I roll anyway. Um, so SLG, um, oh yeah, some other honorable mentions, Speedy, um, but Leo, um, in, in the original video, in Leo Lyons' video, she mentioned the Speedy B25. That is a great spring bag for me, but in high summer, I do worry about light leather top handles. I seem to have sticky stuff on me from my kids and stuff. So when it's really boiling, I kind of want to go hands-free. Um, SLGs, two definite favorites that are summer specific. One is this God Rest Her Soul 
Kate Spade wallet. Um, I can't remember the name of it, but if you browse her site, they still always do this wallet that opens up. I think it's got the word Crosby in the name, but it just opens out like that. Loads of card slots, coin thing on the back. You all know by now, if you know me, that this is my favorite color, like a very glowy lavender. I just bought some suede slides from Topshop in this color. I love it, it makes me feel happy and jolly and it goes with everything in summer. So I really enjoy this wallet. And this is new. This is one of those cotton scamp and dude bags. There's all different ones and they're done by different like beauty people. So there's a Ruth Crilly one. This is the, what's her name? Caroline Hirons one. I didn't get it because of, they've all chosen a charity. Um, I'm not sure what charity, there's a Ruby Hammer one that's red and white, but they're all like lightning and leopard. I got the pink and navy to go in my Deville tote because it just helps to organize a big bag. But I like that it's cotton and soft, it's not structured. And at the moment, I've been using this in my bags with like wipes and pull-up pants for my three-year-old. Um, but you can use it just to organize your stuff in a bigger bag. You can get these from Harvey Nichols or Scamp and Dude and all the profit goes to the chosen charity of the celebrity that designed their own one. And they're about 30 quid. Um, perfume, I've got lots of, I, if you wanna look back through my videos, I've done a perfume collection that's kind of spring, summer oriented recently. But the two that stand out for me are my Tom Ford ones. So the Soleil Blanc, which everybody knows is that one that smells like a pina colada, it's very beachy. This one is a bit more refined, a bit drier, more citrus. Um, this reminds me of a particular trip because I got it in a duty free last year. Uh, both of those I just love because I always thought Tom Ford wasn't for me. And then I was with a friend and smelt this and thought, oh, there are a few that are lighter. I don't do heavy, deep fragrance, but both of these just smell like summer to me and they are very long lasting on the skin. I have worn, I don't know because this bottle's solid, but I have worn this a hundred times and it's still nearly full. I love body sprays in summer. Um, somebody made a comment to me, which is totally true recently on Instagram, that they didn't think they were worth it because they don't last, but I like to reapply. I have them in my bathroom, on the cabinet, and so when I go up to like go to the bathroom or brush my hair or something in the middle of the day, I'll just spray some more, they're light, and they kind of linger on your clothing. So some expensive kind of options. I love the number five low. Sadly, the tin is all dented because I've dropped it, but this was a gift from my dear friend Mix. What a lovely surprise. I like scent layering, especially with light ones. Like I have the fragrance of this, it doesn't last on me. So if I use this and take the purse spray out with me, it's like keeping it going longer. I love the Tom Ford Fleur de Portofino. It's much more inexpensive than the fragrance. Yes, it doesn't last as long, but I quite like it combined with the Mandarino Amalfi one. They're great for travel because I don't like to take my high-end glass fragrances, especially if I'm gonna check that like bag in. I get worried about it spilling, so I often just take these because if something happens, it's not so bad. And then there are loads of inexpensive ones that I enjoy. This is by Pink at Victoria's Secret and it's the Neon Coast. It's the only one I like. It's just very clean smelling. Ginger Lily and Crushed Leaves. And I love the Ginger Lily from Mott & Brown and it's quite similar. Tropical, but very clean, like you've just had a shower. Um, they do travel sizes. I usually take a small one away with me because that's quite big. And then the creator of this tag, Leo Lion LV, put me onto this because she mentioned it. This is the Wahiki Beach Coconut by Bath & Body Works and this is the epitome of summer to me. I absolutely love this. And I've sprayed this 20 times or more and look, it's just like, so they just last so well. You can spray them a lot and get the scent that way if they're not very strong. Um, okay, chapstick lipstick got two clear favorites i am wearing one now which is my favorite lipstick this is a new limited edition i'm talking really fast because i'm trying to get all this in this is by um charlotte tilbury and it's a lovely corally shade funny lighting because i have like sunlight and a ring light it's weird but i love the sexy sienna but it's very bright and day glow this is a little bit more chilled um but it's not as deep as the coachella coral it's just the perfect 
pinky peach for summer i love that one but it is a matte and if you just want to go super natural the new um limited edition nars orgasm collection i love the li the orgasm lipstick i hate the orgasm blush on me weirdly but the lipstick is great but this is just so lovely and the packaging is great this is the lip balm oh my god i can't even read that something lip balm and it just has a hint of color but it does show up and i'll put it on top of the other one it just gives that thing which it doesn't look like much but it makes you look way more attractive it's just really lovely um a lovely scent a lovely feel on the mouth so i've been wearing this a lot because i've been doing a no makeup makeup look for summer okay now we're on to I've missed out, the, oh no, that's because that's near the end. Okay, I thought I'd missed out jewellery. Things to do. I just love the general lifestyle of summer. I love coming down in the morning, opening the back door, leaving the door open all day. We're just about to have right here um, sliding like patio doors put in to just open up the whole back of the house. Um, I have a patio that I like now and I now finally have an adjustable big shade umbrella. So I love to just do everything at the out, to eat outside and hang out in the garden, like tidy the flowers and just do stuff like that. Um, what else? I've put here some just so gardening. Um, we're members of the National Trust here in England and we like to around with a very short drive away. There are nice places to go for a walk where there are either formal gardens or, you know, old Victorian gardens next to an old house that they've like restored. Just anything that involves being outside. Um, and obviously my kids love going to the park or anything like that. Um, any fun trips planned? I've got loads. This summer's a really fun summer. So we've already been, my kids break up really early. Like most of the schools in the UK break up almost right at the end of July, but Martha's school is independent. So they broke up on like the 4th or something of July. So literally the next day we flew to France and went there to just relax for a week and get my husband out of like work mode. He's kind of having most of the summer off. He has some projects he's refurbishing a couple of houses that he owns so he has to kind of keep an eye on that but he's not doing it himself so it's really nice to just have a laid-back lifestyle even when we're not away and just chill and spend time it's really nice um, and then we're back now and then this weekend tomorrow me and my older daughter go to visit a friend down in London and we're going to Brighton for the day on Saturday I've never been so just nice little things like that then next weekend my husband and I go to Cornwall to our favorite beach hotel for three days without the kids because we just need a break. Like, Cece doesn't sleep till God knows, it's really hard to get her to bed so we don't get much of an evening. So that'll be nice, leisurely meals and stuff and walks on the beach. And then we also, what else are we doing? Then later on we are going to the Peak District, which I've never been around that area, so that's Derbyshire. Um, we're gonna be there for a week and do day trips and stuff. That's quite near the area where my husband grew up. Um, I think Alton Towers is not that far from there, so we'll definitely do that that week. And we're staying in a National Trust cottage. And then at the end of the summer, I'm going to do a beach holiday with my best friend and our kids. So lots of things planned, which is gonna break up the nine weeks that we have off school. Um, favorite ice cream flavor is usually, Cece's crying, but she is with her dad. Um, pistachio is usually my favorite, or you know, Italian gelato, like the hazelnut ones and stuff like that. Um, but in summer, I love sorbet. I'm trying to slim. Um, there are some 100%, I think they're by Del Monte. There are some 100% kind of fruit puree natural ones um, that come in mango, orange, raspberry, and lemon, which are like 60 calories. I love those. If we go out for ice cream, I'll get like a lemon sorbet or mango sorbet. Um, jewellery, okay, so this is lovely. This is a vintage 80s Liberty jewellery roll. It belonged to my um, husband's late mother and it was just in her effects and he gave it to me. And when we travel, that's why I put my jewellery in. And all of my favourite like summer jewellery is in here because um, we've been away. So it's just colours really. Like I said about the clothing, I'm very basic in the winter. In the summer, I really like colour, so things like little accents of turquoise, um, I have, this is from Stella and Dot, it's like a little elephant with a little hot pink 
sort of slider thing and that goes with the kind of boho style love tassels at the moment so I've got some on clothing these are some little earrings from um, Hush these are some bigger ones also by Hush um, I love doing my I'm all in a big tangle here I love doing my um, Pandora bracelet I'm not going to untangle that and in summer I've just kind of put this blue turquoise heart there's a sort of little a little starfish a little seahorse kind of summery aqua colors on there and then my favorite bracelets um, are the Tiffany little bead one with the little oh, turn around dude turquoise enamel heart I really need to get like the necklace to go with that and this is a real favorite because it's just got my favorite colors on it this is by Lola Lola Rose and um, it's got little beads in purple and aqua and white and gold um, favorite necklaces are just these two always lately oh, this one's tangled it's a bee like charm from and other stories I really love the costume jewelry from and other stories little bee charm like necklace um, these are from and other stories also little ring set and this is something I wear honestly a lot. This is a little chain from the fine jewellery part of LM's range and it's a pink um, evil eye and I love baby pink and blue in the summer. So those are some real favourites. Bonus item, I have two. Oh my gosh, this video is so long. One is sunscreen. This is my favorite sunscreen. I wish they did a 50. This is SPF 30 by Glossier, the Invisible Shield. And what I love about it and how it beats any other sunscreen is the texture. It has like just a, like a watery gel serum texture. It has a citrus fragrance and you can't feel it. It doesn't make your skin feel hot and like sweaty like a lot of those very thick SPF 50s. Um, I take it out with me and I kind of reapply because it's only 30, but I love that. And then finally, um, we upgraded our Nespresso machine and I have been using, I treated myself to like new drinkware. This is the tumbler that I like with the longer spoon and the capsules on the new machines. It uses um, centrifuge, they spin round rather than using heat so much and you get a very nice cream layer this cap is my favorite it is uh, i can't pronounce that but it's the strong um one for making iced coffee and in summer i love nothing more than iced coffee i've been having two or three of those a day i just put loads of ice in this cup um, one double espresso and then just wait for the ice to like muddle with the coffee and maybe then add a bit more ice to make it long and maybe a sweetener or a tiny bit of vanilla syrup to sweeten it so delicious so I think that's everything those are my summer favorites so um, obviously also this is my favorite non-alcoholic summer drink my favorite alcoholic summer drink is an Aperol spritz um, yeah I really enjoy sitting outside and having one of those and I'm loving Love Island that's another random extra favorite that's my guilty pleasure I'll be gutted when that's over and I just that just that just seems like summer to me when that's on anyway I hope you enjoyed this it's been nice to catch up with you all and I'll see you in the next one take care